The blinds of the apostles and the elders, great millstone true well, salutations to the whole for elect out there, you are Kim to the Dakim. I do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the priest Shaman, this week's topic is gonna to be entitled Teaching is a form of laying down your life. Teaching this word is a form of laying down your life for your brother. With that said, this is the book of John, chapter 15, verse 12. It says, and this is how we shall speak in red letters. This is my commandment, that ye love one another. Well, what's love? Love is keeping the commandments, right? Keeping the commandments towards your brother. Not being a nigga, not being no shicey shit. Nothing like that towards your brother. No ill will, so on and so forth. That ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Right, so laying down your life for your friends. And what does that mean? It can mean a lot of things, right? It could mean, you know, going the extra mile for your brother. But if you, you think about this too, we've become dead to this world for our brothers, all right? Meaning there's certain things in this world that could propel a man to the next level, but if it contradicts with these scriptures, con contradict with these gospels, we're not gonna do it. We make particular sacrifices that way we can still sustain in this thing. I'll give you an example. You could be offered a very high paying salary, but the caveat is you have to shave your beard off. Get your shit lined up. Brothers will turn that down. Why? So we're not hypocritical to our congregation. That's a form again putting the brotherhood, all right, before your own particular um, lifely advantages, all right? You got to understand too, Akim, um, the brothers that teach, anything can happen out there on the streets, and we've seen it. Brothers are showing video where gunshots are going off or what have you, all right? Come across our bosses, our bosses could just terminate us on the spot, but, you know, the most side is always making a way and keeping a hedge to where, look, man, I've, I've, I've been in situations where I've seen <laughs> in previous jobs, Managers and what have you still stayed so but that's the thing though you see what I'm saying so that's a form of making a great leap and this is why I say two brothers put up our videos every now and then gotta show your face you can't be hiding behind the screen man all right the people gotta know who we are because the scripture says that I shall see thy teacher and also that's a sacrifice too all right, because now people are knowing who you are, what have you, you know what I'm saying? I know brothers came out to the camp one time and the whole time I'm in the gym, they know I'm in the truth, but they ain't say nothing to me. Until they came out to the camp, they was like, yo, yeah, we seen you in the gym, you in X and X, I was like, holy shit, yeah, we was watching y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, now this is the book of John chapter 10 verse 11 and it reads and I'm gonna jump to 15 after it reads I am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep how I did that how I literally went up on the cross and laid down his life for us all right and we're doing the same in your stead okay meaning taking the time being consistent to feed the flock man feed the flock, to feed the lamb, all right? Every brother that has a channel, you are a shepherd, and everybody that's viewing is a sheep, all right? You have to make sure that they're fed, all right? Make sure that you teach them the correct way, you know? Making sure that you're prioritizing the truth first, and that requires faith, which a lot of people don't have. A lot of people um, say they have faith, but then their deeds don't match. We've seen situations where a woman has drawn a man out the truth. Kids, work, money. They wasn't ready to make the they wasn't ready to fully lay everything down for this truth first and foremost. And that's the sacrifices we have to make. That's the form of laying down your life right there, man. Alright. Um and there will come a point in time wherein, you know, our temptation where you you know some brothers are gonna have to physically you know literally give up their life to, 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 to 
to stay in this thing, I mean, you know, to, to make sure they receive their crown. Because the scripture says, you know, speaks about some that are going to be faithful unto death. So some brothers have that faith that, hey man, fuck it, you know. Take whatever you got to take. I know I'm going to get it back a hundredfold in the kingdom. And that's going to be heavy, man. They might, they might see that you have the courage and willing to lose your life, but, you know, this is going to be real shit. What do they put your kids in front of you? We're going to blow their head out unless you take this chip. Your wife in front of you. We're going to blow her head out unless you take this chip. That's going to be some tough shit, right? But the brothers will understand that we understand reincarnation. Just like, just like the situation in Apocrypha. You know, that woman that lost her seven kids. They killed all her seven kids. All her seven sons. But she understood that the heat, that she going to get them back. Hey, the Lord took Job's kids, man. And a lot from Job. He laid down his life. Gave up a lot. And still, a lot was taken from him. And he still maintained his integrity. Verse 15 reads, As the Father knoweth, again, this is in red letters, As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and lay down my life for the sheep. You know, and Yahweh shot blood was that ultimate sacrifice. This is how come we don't do animal sacrifices no more? You know, because Yahweh Shah's blood was that ultimate sacrifice. Wherein we could redeem salvation through faith in him. We didn't need salvation no more by the keeping of the laws. But Yahweh Shah went on the cross really for all Israel. Starting with the elect, but all Israel. All Israel is going to be saved. Alright? All Israel shall be reborn in the kingdom of heaven at some point or another. Right? And they're going to be doing glorious things. They're going to have their mind reprogrammed, their sins washed away. That's why we just got to say, Yahweh Shah, sending Yahweh Shah, man, just really just giving us that mercy. You know? So it's that same sort of effort and laying down the life we have to do. This is. This is, this is, this is. Romans 5 and 6. It says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Yahweh Shai died for the ungodly. And at one point or another, we were in a, to different extents, to different extents, in a godly state of mind, ungodly state of mind. You know? Some brothers are getting worse than others. You have certain brothers that didn't believe in the Bible. Thought it was a white man's book, right? You have certain brothers that were committing adultery, drug dealing, doing all kinds of crazy shit. Right? It says, hey, proof on that is one member of the elect, one member of the elect was on a cross with Yahweh Shai. You know? One of the benefactors. Not benefact. One of the, um, I believe it's benefactor, but you know, scripture says you know they were thieves or what have you. But one of the thieves on the right hand that was being crucified, guess what? He was on the elect. So there was a lot of jakes doing fucked up shit. You know, there's no holier than thou type shit going on here. We were all fucked up, and that's yeah. Yahweh Shah still went on the cross to have mercy upon us. So, hey man, we gotta extend that mercy out. Can't just rule a guy out based on how you look outwardly. You gotta try the spirit. You know? Reading on, verse 7. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Right? So, for a righteous person, very few people will die for. Yet, preadventure, for a good man, some would even dare die to die. Right? So, even a good dude. Some of people are like, I don't even know I'm ready to die for this dude right here, man. So a righteous man, yeah, a few people. For a good man, shit, someone even dare do it. You know? But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker right here. Verse 8. But the Most High commandeth his love towards us. In that 
while we were yet sinners, Yahweh Shah died for us. So you see that? So very few will lay down their life for a righteous man. Close to nobody will lay down their life for a good man. Yet Yahweh Shah laid down his life for sinners, man, which we were. So that right there lets you know, man, we gotta lay down our life. For the brothers, for the brotherhood, those listening, okay? Some brothers don't got it all the way right together right now, but we still got a label for them, all right? As our Lord Yahweh Shah did. And a form of that is teaching. A form of that is definitely teaching. When you teach a man, you're giving a man life, man. Through understanding of the scriptures. It's power in that, man. I always give the analogy of well, not an analogy, but like a situation where a man could be stuck on cigarettes. He tried everything. Nicotine patch, all that shit. He come around the brotherhood. Hey, uh, scripture say you can't smoke. And he stopped smoking. So that's the power of the Lord. Now, there's a book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 2. It says, and walk in love as Yahweh Shai also hath loved us and hath given himself for an offering and a sacrifice to the Most High for a sweet smelling savor. Right. So, again, that's Yahweh Shah being that old. That's why he's called the Lamb of God. Without blemish, he never sinned. But guess what? We got to do the same. That's why the scripture says, what? Make your body a living sacrifice. How do we do that? Teaching. In season, out of season. When you go out there in the highways and byways, guess what? That's the altar. You out there, you out there, you out there on the altar, man. Whether it's every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, you know, you, you line it up to, you know, but you can but just know that when you're putting together these lessons and teaching and edifying, guess what? You're laying down your life for a brother. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rechah Kudash, that belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which we well. Salutations to the whole field elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim, that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. Shalom.